Monday 18th December 2023 it's around 1 42 p.m. I'm at the roof of the Basilica of St. Peter's and this is the dome in front of me and I'm reading from Rome a pilgrim's companion by David Baldwin CTS series published from London England to climb the dome and view Rome is a must. You get there early to avoid the crowds. A lift takes one part of the way, but there are many steps to be climbed to reach the top. The effort is well worth it. The first indication as to the immensity of it all is when one emerges on the circular balcony high up inside the base of the dome, and when one's eyes immediately plunge down into the heart of the basilica, overlooking the baldacchino and the cross naves. The contrasting scales of the tiny people below and the huge lettering close to you round the base of the dome gives a good perspective of scale. One can only marvel at the sheer design and engineering as you negotiate the staircase round the side of the curving wall of the dome itself. On emerging into daylight just under the pinnacle, the views are stunning. St. Peter's Square laid out below with the ant-like people, unparalleled views of the Roman vista and skyline and a remarkable outlook of the Vatican City and gardens. One another bonus which I did not realize before I went up was the existence on the roof of the basilica and in the, in the immediate shadow of the dome of a small cafe, gift shop and toilets. After the exertion of climbing the dome there was nothing more pleasant than lazing in the sun on the roof of Rome with a cup of coffee viewing the scurrying ant-like world below. How to sum up St. Peter's, the sheer majesty of the place, the basilica and the square, down to the smallest exquisite detail, will beguile, intrigue and inform you. The great physical and beautiful rock from which the universal church emanates and is governed by the current direct successor to Peter will inspire you. But the rock of church, Peter, and his many, many successors rest here, will give you that timeless, unbroken physical link back to Jesus. Our Lord, the sight of those many th thousand fellow pilgrims drawn here from all corners of the earth and visibly representing the Universal Church make this extraordinary meeting place the physical confluence of the worldwide Catholic Church, a church built not of stone but of people. How good, how delightful it is to live as brothers all together. Psalm 133.